In this video, we will see the configuration of the ERP accelerators. There is one single transaction called HDBC to maintain all settings. The settings are structured in a hierarchical manner. Settings generally can be done on the highest level and will be inherited by lower levels. In the lower levels, you will maintain settings that should deviate from the global settings or that are only relevant to a particular application use case. In the global settings, you will find, for example, the connection to the HANA database. Here, you can also switch on and off the acceleration, for example, enabling separate maintenance windows for your core system and HANA. You may also activate the acceleration only for selected users. This can be handy during the implementation phase if you want to test the acceleration on selected pilot users before deploying it to everybody. You can also jump from the configuration transaction directly to the SAP service notes providing additional information on the settings. Next to the global settings, you will find application specific settings. Let us have a look at settings for COPA, profitability analysis. The settings here are made per operating concern, so you can activate the acceleration individually per operating concern. You can also decide how the system should behave if the SAP HANA database is not available at a given moment. You could decide to have the system fall back silently to the normal database, to stop the transaction until the issue is resolved, or to have the user decide how to proceed. The Replication Tables tab will give you a list of all tables which need to be replicated into SAP HANA for this scenario. You will find this information on all application settings, so you can easily configure the real-time replication process to include all relevant tables. In the case of COPA, you can choose between the generic SLT replication or a replication model specific to COPA. In the Read Options tab, you can fine-tune which reports should be accelerated. As a default, all read accesses will be run through the HANA accelerator. This concludes our short demonstration. Configuring the ERP accelerators is done in a single transaction following a common approach for all accelerator scenarios.